let's look at 32 years from now. Unfortunately, we have reports that in another 32 years, as, as by 2050, Nigeria would be one of the eight countries with the largest population in the world. Now, with our population right now, we're not able to cater to the population that we have. My fear is by the time we increase, what will happen? Now, these statistics and these rankings have been given by the Population Reference Bureau. Now, we are currently, we have a high fertility rate and fast increased population in receiving, and, and we're definitely receiving global attention because of this. And now, we've been said we're supposed to be the second fastest growing country after India. Now, the Nigerian population would overtake the population of the United States to become the third most populous country. The report also indicates global population is predicated to reach 9.9 .9 billion by 2050, up 2.3 million or 29% from an estimated 7.6 billion people currently, with Africa's population accounting for 58% of the increase. In other words, 2.3 more billion people would be living on Earth. Reacting to the report, Lagos State's team lead, Nigerian Urban Reproductive Health Initiative, Dr. Edu Omasanjuwa said that any efforts put in place to grow Nigeria economy without adequate measures on population will be in futility. Chukudi, <laughs> in Nigeria, <laughs> right now, we cannot cater to the population that we have. Unfortunately, we have the poor, poor people, I dare say. We have people in areas that cannot afford to feed, and their major means of... Um, how do I call it? Re their major means of relaxing themselves will be reproducing. I saw a documentary of somebody that lived in Makoko, had no job. Her husband had no job. And when they asked her, she had six children. And Chukudi, when she was asked if she wanted to have more children, she said, and I quote, children are a gift from God. You cannot reject children. This is the mindset that a lot of people have. When China decided to do the one child policy, people thought China was mad. But we're looking at China's economy now. China is becoming one of the largest economies in the world. They've been able to structure themselves, but we are there having children in large numbers. That is not to say children are not good, but every family should have children that they can cater to. Well, the truth is, and I'm going to be honest, you know, certain cultural and religion practice make us look at certain issues and say, uh, we are helpless or we accept. And that is why the young woman, you know, told you her response was children are a gift from God. And indeed, dependent on your belief, children are a gift from God. Just like how rain is a blessing, but to the farmer whose um, field is flooded, it is not. See, if we wake up today and say we should all stop giving birth in Nigeria, nothing will change. If we wake up today and say we should all stop giving birth in Nigeria, which is impossible, nothing will change. What did Bill Gates say when he visited Nigeria? With all that Bill Gates, an American, had invested in the country, he still had concerns about human capital development. You can have 200 children. There's no law that says stop, right? For now. For now. There's no law that we even, I'm very certain, like I said, cultural and religious um, um, beliefs or practices. I mean, there are some religious beliefs that do not believe in contraceptives. There are some religious organizations That's that believe I'm that children you. should come. See, and then we're talking about issues of child marriage and 15-year-olds having What children. we should be looking at in Nigeria today is how we can consolidate on our strengths. Nigeria is a country that is abundantly blessed with human and natural resources. If we are even, whether you like it or not, you cannot stop it. The projections are there. These are people that are preparing ahead. They have told you that you are soon going to overtake the United States of America that is not in, our, in size. We, we do not compare. In population right now, we do not compare. In the problems that we have, we senior them. We are their grandfather. We, what's the grandfather? We are the ancestors of America when you talk about problems. And the reason why I say this, nobody should get me wrong, is because we have failed to take advantage of God-given resources. Currently, we've overtaken India in poverty. So I'm imagining what would happen See, when our population increases let at us even, time. Let us even get this. Why it is even grave is because India has a population that is 10 times the size of Nigeria. Nigeria is 198 million, according to the last uh, uh, NPC report. 198 million. India has a population that is 10 times our size, but we have more people living in not poverty, extreme Abject poverty. poverty. Extreme poverty is the senior brother that somebody now follow of poverty. And India is 10 times our population. What are we saying? If we do not look at the future and plan, we are wasting our time. Well, you don't, people should stop giving birth to children. People, it will not change anything. 
when we cannot take advantage of the resources that we have. There are Nigerians that are thriving outside this country. People are, there are places you go to in Canada, you will think you are in Oweri or Valende here. Because they are full of Nigerians as well. Who are doing well for themselves. All we need to do is have a national policy. What is this policy? A policy that is tailored to provide the three basic necessities of life, food, clothing, and shelter. If you, if you can eat, what is the problem with your, if you want? If you can feed 10 children, if you can have 10 children and afford to look after the 10 children, then there's no problem. So if we're looking at our priorities and saying, let us, let us try as much as we can to see how we can deal with this problem so that we can provide for the future. I know restricting the number of offsprings is one way to go. But if I prioritize, that is not even what it is. If I, because the truth is, your strength is also in your numbers. How China has been able to, you know, chase, looking at development, the United States of America owes to its rising population. How India has been able to rise is also owing to its population. People take advantage of their population. If you have a population that is not empowered, that is where there is a major problem. But we have a population that has many issues that we are battling, issues such as health problems, education problems, power, and these things are the things that we do not want to see repeated in 2019. And you know why there's a problem? Look at the demographics of Nigeria's population. Over 60% are 30 years and below. These 30 years and below people are very strong. They're very agile. Imagine what these people can do. You just mentioned that, you know, the idle man or the idle woman, what gives them joy is reproduction. Is coitus. Reproduction. Imagine an agile young man like me that doesn't have anything to do, that sees uh, this thing as exercise, as sport. Imagine the number of children that somebody like me can give birth to. So it is good to make projections and look at it and say, okay, how do we ensure that it doesn't become a problem in the nearest future? How do we provide for our population? How do we create a society where Population will be an advantage to us and not a problem. Farmers' headers clash that we are dealing with today eh, started as a result of the mistakes we made from some 40 years ago, where the Lake Chad Basin started to shrink, where there was rapid development and we did not invest in the people. You, the, if you look at the, the percentage of those that feed the American population are very minute in comparison to the population, but it is mechanized, it is driven by technology, and those people play a very important role why can we not just sit down and think? Why can we not have leaders who have vision, who can see beyond their nose, to say this is the Nigeria of our dreams? Why can, what happened to people like Nnamdi Azikiwe, Obafemi Aholowo, Malamami Nukano, Tafawa Balewa, Hamadou Belo? The politicians we have today, are they any different? You, you buy big cars. Ten, you can only drive one. You build a mansion, you can only sleep in one. At the end of the Let's day, start thinking now. those are the things we should be looking at. Human capital development and keeping up with modern best practices. Looking at what's working for other people around the world. Taking lessons and taking cues from them. And for those of you watching, going out there to get your PVCs. And not voting for anybody based on religious affiliations or tribal sentiment. You have a few more days to the deadline for the collection of PVCs. And if you don't go out there to get your voter's card, you're also part of our problem. So please go out there, get your PVCs, be involved, ask the right questions. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank today. you very much. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.